Hello all and welcome back. In this video, we are going to cover Amazon RDS automated backups followed by a quick demo. RDS backups of DB instance are automatically created and retained. RDS creates a storage volume snapshot of the DB instance, backing up the entire DB instance and not just the individual databases. RDS backups are incremental. The first snapshot of the DB instance contains the data for the full database. Subsequent snapshots of the same database are incremental, which means that only the data that has changed after your most recent snapshot is saved. Automated backups are enabled by default for a new DB instance. Automated backups occur during a daily user configurable period of time known as the preferred backup window and are retained for the backup retention period. RDS uses periodic data backups in conjunction with transaction logs to enable restoration of the DB instance to any second during the backup retention period up to the latest restorable time. And this can be typically up to last few minutes. Automated DB backups are deleted when the retention period expires. Automated DB backups for the DB instance are disabled. The DB instance is deleted. Although RDS can be configured to retain the automated backups on RDS instance deletion. And these would be retained till the backup retention window. Let's navigate to the RDS console. Click on the databases. We already have an RDS demo DB created in the free tier. Navigate to the databases. And let's go to the maintenance and the backup section. We can see the automated backups are enabled and the backup retention period is one day. We have copy tags to the snapshots enabled. Backup window is configured and we have currently two snapshots. RDS demo DB snapshot which is the manual snapshot and RDS demo DB suffixed with the timestamp is the automated snapshot created by RDS. Let's select the automated backup and navigate to the details. And we can see all the backup details covering the ARN, database engine, storage, class, zone, among others. Let's check on the actions. Restore snapshot allows us to restore the backup into a new DB instance. Copy snapshot allows us to copy the backup to a manual snapshot. Share snapshot is currently disabled. You cannot share automated backups. You need to copy them to create a manual snapshot and then it can be shared. Migrate snapshot option allows you to migrate an RDS DB snapshot DB instance to create an Aurora MySQL DB cluster. The data is stored in the Apache Parquet format that is compressed and consistent. Export to S3 allows you to export DB snapshot data to an Amazon S3 bucket. The export process runs in the background and doesn't affect the performance of your active DB instance. Delete snapshot allows us to delete the snapshot. DB instance can be restored anytime creating a new DB instance with a different endpoint. A DB instance can be restored with different instance class and storage type than the source DB snapshot. Let's go ahead and restore our backup to a new DB instance. On the restore snapshot page, for the DB instance, leave the DB engine to MySQL. 
For availability and durability, we would configure the DB instance as a single DB deployment. Under Settings, it shows the DB snapshot from which the DB would be restored. For DB instance identifier, enter RDS demo DB restored as the DB instance name. Under instance configuration, let's select burstable classes and T3 micro instance. Under storage configuration, leave the general purpose SSD with an allocated storage of 20 GB. In connectivity, we would set the VPC and subnet groups. Snapshots are regional and you can restore the snapshot as a DB instance within the same region. We have VPC A selected and the RDS demo subnet group selected as well. Public access disabled. Default security group which allows inbound and outbound traffic. No preference for the availability group and port set to 3306. Password authentication for database authentication. Let's leave the encryption and other configuration as defaults. Let's go ahead and restore our DB instance. You will be brought back to the database dashboard page. And we can now see the original source DB as well as the new DB instance restored from the source DB snapshot. Restore DB is in the creating status. And the DB has been assigned the US East 1A zone. Restore DB is now in the available status. The DB will have a different DNS endpoint to that of the original DB from which the snapshot was created. So that's it for the RDS automated backups demo where we worked with an automated backup and restored it as a new database. I hope you liked it. Thank you all. Alright, that was it. Thank you for watching. You can check out my website and connect me on LinkedIn and Twitter. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. For any feedback, please leave a comment down below. To see more videos like this in the future, hit the subscribe button. Thank you.